I was just trying to bring that leadership aspect, you know, pushing the younger guys to the best, of, you know, to the best of their ability, making them believe in what we really got going on. You know, sometimes, you know, for the younger guys, they haven't really seen the success in the past that we had. So for me, it's just really pushing that hope onto them and making them believe and, you know, trying to get them to where they really understand what we could be. Uh, not, not so much when I first got here. I was pretty much trying to find my way. You know, but as I, the more I got comfortable, I started to, you know, speak up more. And, you know, being an older guy, just trying to bring that leadership aspect to the field. It's been fun, you know, like, coming from where they came from, they giving me new stuff, like, technique-wise. I'm giving them <coughs> new stuff technique-wise. So, it's been fun. It's been really interesting. It's been good seeing those guys work. Really excited for the season. Like, he's super energetic, a uh, high energy guy, super smart. Uh, he's, he's coached a lot of good players in the past. So for me, that's big, and I'm just looking forward to you know, the next step and where he can make me too. Uh, you know, he put a little wrinkle, nothing crazy though, but you know, like I said, he's a smart guy. He's just specifically in the, in the uh, secondary, he's taught us a lot uh, already. And uh, like I said, a high energy guy. I feel like I'm a high energy guy too, so I feel like we mesh well in that aspect. All of them could play. All of them are good. You know, it's really hard to see like who really has that edge right now because all of them are playing so well. Uh, for the younger guys that's coming in, it, it, it's, it's been crazy like the, the success that they had so far. So. No problems. No problems. Zero problems, yeah. That's my that's my brand, you know, no problems. So with the zero I just wanted to you know push that, no problems. Mm -hmm. All those guys are good, really. That's tough. Um KP, Cam Perry, quick shifty guy. Um Donovan, completely different receiver than uh, KP. You know, bigger, stronger, more physical. Uh, Kobe, Anderson Kobe, also very quick, very fast. Uh, you just get different, get different things from different guys. So, like I said, it's really, it's been fun. He's, he, he gonna be good. He, you could always tell like he was like a natural receiver. I'm pretty sure he played basketball, so. He go with the up balls and stuff like that, but he's taking his game to the next level, I feel like, with his route running and stuff like that, too. Uh, he, when he first got here, he was always, like, the quick guy, but I feel like he's really taking the next step with, like, learning the plays and, you know, trying to read the defense and stuff like that with the experience that he's gaining throughout practices. He's learning the offense. I, I think he was in the backfield a lot last year, way more than, you know, in the slot. But you can always tell, like, he was one of those guys who was just an athlete, put him anywhere you're going to make plays. So. Uh, younger guys, Jamari Sharp, uh, Lil Mullen, uh, Travell, you know, he a dog. James Mons, I feel like he's been here for a year. I feel like he, he's taking the next step. Um, Phillip, uh, he, he played a lot last year, but he's also taking the next step, pushing, pushing uh, Sangonetti to, you know, for that first spot. Um, yeah, those, those, those young guys, they, they've been doing very well. That right there, just trying to get back to where he was. You know, that 2020 season, that was a, a, a big season, historical season. I'm just trying to get get back to you know winning all, winning the games that we're supposed to win and then you know upsetting some of these teams that you know the media and the fans think that we can't beat you know just get trying to get back to that